I mean, a little bit of mood lighting in the basement. Um, it's actually got a decent amount of light there, I would say. <laughs> Hi Jay here, welcome to my big backyard. I didn't look at a product review, but this is something I'm going to turn into a sort of a tiki torch. Well, just use it as it is. Try and reduce some bugs, give a little bit of light, and I thought this might be a cheaper alternative to your Yuko uh, Micro or Mini, as it's at least half the price, if not uh, less here in Canada anyway. Uh, this is from a company called Warwick, so they say, or the seller, but I've seen tons of these no-name um, candle lanterns on Aliexpress and Amazon. Got this one on Amazon for 11 bucks and if you were going to go get yourself um, a Yuko here in Canada, just a standard or even a smaller one, they're like 35 bucks for the, the Mini, which doesn't make sense to me, 27 for a standard and about 50, 50 bucks for the uh, candelier. I might pick up a candelier because I like that. Um, so I wanted a cheap alternative. Now this, this is not a very exciting box. But let's take a look inside and we'll see what we got and then I'll give it a light then I'm going to take you down to the basement. Oh don't worry it's nothing like that. We don't know each other well enough. This. Okay enough talking Jay let's get to unboxing this uh, no-name candle and uh, hopefully I get it in the shot we'll take a look otherwise I'll be doing a second unboxing of the same when I check the video. But, um, I will also probably do another video comparing some of the things I have because I'm probably going to do a homemade as well. I say probably. I know I'm going to. I don't know when I'll get to making the video. Uh, it comes in a nice bubble package and I do have a bit of an idea which I'll show in the basement of how I can protect this for way cheaper than those neoprene uh, cases. I'm seeing those for about 18 bucks Canadian not including tax and all that uh, just to cover the candle and uh, you guys maybe can guess at some great ideas. I'll show you one. There are others. Um, a lot cheaper. Dollar store type cheaper. Now, hold on to this so it doesn't blow away. Nothing else inside the box. No instructions. I don't know if any are needed. And, uh, not sure. This is the bottom for sure. We got, like, I guess air coming in the bottom. A little hole here. I'm not sure what that's for. Um, the metal doesn't feel super solid. This is probably, my guess is aluminum looking like brass. And that's okay. A uh, really loose fit here I find on this. There's just this kind of a, a thing that twists on. Let's see. I guess once you have it on there it's fine. But uh, I don't know what would happen if you, uh, you twist. Oh, it still sort of locks in either way. So gotta, that's alright. Nice and light. So we'll weigh this after probably in the basement too. Um, oh, hang on. A piece of paper in there. I'm not sure what that's for. Try you back in here. Uh, I'll put that down over there. Let's have a look. So, got a little globe. I bet you that's really close to the same size, if not the exact same size, as the uh, Yuko Micro or Mini. Um, it's half the size, I guess. Wow, that's interesting. I might play with that. Maybe I can get away with using two of these um, to replace the regular candle, candle lantern. Not that those are that expensive. Now, again, this is from uh, claiming to be a company called Warwick. There's no branding on here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, it was 11 bucks. AliExpress, I've seen them for four or five and then shipping. So I guess it depends where you're shipping to and where you like to buy from. Um, well, it comes with one candle here. I'd say nothing magical here about, uh, sorry, I was hearing a noise in my backyard. I don't know what that's all about, but just some neighbors. Nothing magical about the candle. Uh, it's kind of a loose fit in here. Looks like you could reuse this. If you need to, maybe make your, your own. Uh, got a bit of a texture on there, or just hold the candles you have. Oh, more paper so at the bottom here. So I ordered the one, uh, I didn't know it came with a candle, because I keep seeing ads for these, uh, and you can get one with, with one candle, one with two, uh, one with no candles. I've seen a silver one, I might get that one. I, it has a little bit uh, bigger of a bottom on it. But a lot of these types of ads, I don't know if it's one or two companies making these, they're all copying each other and rebranding. We got that, pop that in there, up, not upside down like I did. Um, so slide it in. I don't know if you guys saw that, so we'll do it again. So we've got your candle, and this really light housing, but light can be good, right? Um, the lid, and this piece, no springs or other mechanisms. Um, 
that just sort of slides in there. We're gonna light this up if I have a lighter in my pocket. Let's find out in a second. Okay, found a dollar store lighter. These are horrible compared to a Bic, so get a Bic. Uh, Bic minis are awesome. Could probably pack one right in here. Um, I bet you you're getting at least five of these in here, if not six. We can stack a few in there after to see how many you can hold. You probably want to light that up. And uh, from there, slide your globe down. Let's try that in a second. So slide your globe down. Pop that on there. I'm sure you're going to have to put it in there properly or it won't uh, lock in. And that'll be that. So I'll, I'll light it up out here, but I'm going to go back inside and do that anyway. Stack in a few candles and uh, pop it on a scale. Seems okay. I think here I would probably add um, your own little chain or uh, maybe some 20 gauge steel loop in a tiny carabiner or even just a, a full size carabiner would probably give you the distance. We'll see here in a second. Um, the top here, I was going to use this to heat up a, a thermocell pad and see if that works or a no-name branded one. Uh, just get rid of those bugs. Uh, I find permethrin works the best, but I'll try some tiki candles in here. Um, I guess you could put one of those foil cupcake things on here and smoosh it in. So weird stuff I do. I'll come back to the candle itself. I'm going to open it up, slide that off. It's all pretty simple so far. I think the only problem here is going to be this dollar store lighter. Um, you know, let's get that up close. And uh, maybe I'll just pull the wick out. Or I can just slide that in sideways once it's lit. So, got my wick here. And uh, just... Being one of those guys that has a visual impairment, sometimes even seeing the wick is a challenge. I'm not sure if you guys are seeing this in the shot even. But I find this dollar store lighter is just lame. It has no control, so don't buy one of these. Let's see if I can get it lit. And any breeze seems to just kill it. So it's like the weakest flow I've ever seen. Let's see if I can get it lit. Yo, ooh catch a little you guys can tell me at home if I'm in the right spot the flames looking big so that's good okay you now it's a candle so as long as it doesn't blow out in the wind which is what that shield is for we should be okay yeah now I've got a better lighter I wouldn't have done it this way okay I slid it in there if you guys saw that and I'll just drop this globe down and you don't get any heat on the sides but you once you put that globe in there's a lot of heat up top just like uh, one of those you or any other really candle lantern. Now, I'm willing to bet you're not going to want to touch that, uh, that top piece. And because it's all one unit, I also guess, it's just a guess if we can get that on properly, that um, the whole thing is going to get hot. And I can feel that when I'm trying to twist it on. Already just by trying to twist it on without leaving it there for a few seconds, we have already got some good warmth on there, for good or bad. But I really want to get this in the right spot. Oh, a little finicky. I figured it was going to be finicky. It's getting warm. So you really want to, uh, once you've got that, get it on the right way. Maybe grab this part. Okay, there we go. I just had to get it in the right groove area. Um, so we'll go down in the basement and check that out. Seems to be getting good air. I'll blow on it here. <sighs> It's affected, so the air is coming in the bottom here that will, you know, affect it, but I'm not blowing it out. I'm going to blow right down the top to blow it out, though. So we can check this out in the basement in a minute. You guys see what you think. I, I think for 11 bucks with everything, um, yeah, I, I'm going to probably buy that silver one they had that has a slightly different base. I like the weight. I don't know how durable it's going to be, and I will show you my little weird cocoon thing. Uh, and get your thoughts in the video. What do you think would make a good cocoon? I think uh, I'll mention it when I show the cocoon on some other thoughts, but um, I was at the dollar store to get some tea candles. I was at the dollar store to get this, and you can see what I got at the dollar store for a cocoon for this no-name or Warwick uh, candle from Amazon, also LE, and probably eBay. <sighs> uh, there she goes. It blows straight down, and it's out. Well... Welcome to the big basement, I guess, instead of the big backyard. But uh, for part two here, let's just do this in the dark in a second. I am going to light this. And uh, see how it does in a darkened area. Also, this is my super cheap. This was a buck and a quarter. Yeah. 
and whatever weird things are on it. I've seen lots of different colors. Uh, you're going to see that this fits this. Fits. You're going to see that this fits in here almost perfectly. There's no top on it, but uh, I can do something to rig that up. I'm not sure. Uh, it's not really a big deal. I could throw a ranger band over that or something. But it's almost a perfect height. Let's just do that now. Put the globe back in. Hold that down. Yeah, so some weird solution here that flips over. Maybe I'll even uh, stitch in. I don't know how that will hold in this. I'll try gluing a piece of Velcro or something. I don't know. I'll come up with something. But don't really need it if you pack it in right. And this is just to sort of protect uh, the glass here. I might even put some hard plastic, um, bendable hard plastic in here just to give it a little bit more rigidity. Um, so there you go. Let's light this up. Alrighty, get the lid off. Okay, being a blind guy and lighting a candle can be fun when you can't see the wick, but I know it's there. That's the fine detail I have a hard time with. It may not seem that fine when you can see, but uh, anyway, we'll just tip it sideways. Here we go, I get a little extra glow so I know it's lit. I'm going to pop that in here. There's too much weirdness and burn in my fingers. And if I get myself a little mini Bic, that's going to be better. Stop trying to be cheap, Jay. I do like to be cheap um, when I can, and stuff works well. In this case, it's both cheap and it's super light compared to my other Yuko. Like, way lighter. Which means it's probably more fragile. But I think if you take care of it, uh, and I wouldn't use this as primary lighting. This is more of a, for me, it's going to be a bug reducer. A little bit of heat. I find, uh, and I'm sure you've seen this all over the internet, a candle on, um, even if you don't run it all the time, for a little while in your tent, once it gets cold out, really takes care of the, the moisture in your tent. But I mean, a little bit of mood lighting in the basement. Um, it's actually got a decent amount of light there, I would say. And so I can't imagine this is any different lighting than any uh, candle lantern would be. I mean, it's, it's a tea light. Don't put your finger over it. And uh, I would say the more glass, the better. I even have a great idea, so I'll probably add that to the video of how to get a reflector on top for cheap. Not sure how well it'll work for this. Um, but of course, uh, a little bit of tinfoil, just wrap it on the inside there of the globe. That'll do it too. Um, then we can get it directional. It doesn't do, do too bad. There's not a huge amount of light coming straight up the top, so you don't really need... I mean, it helps a bit if you're walking around and you want to see your feet. Um, Helps a bit having that uh, sort of a top plate, which I'm going to show you how to add on there. But I, I'm really impressed for my $11, which is like $5 US. Well, maybe 7 That's not a bad price. You could get three of these for the price of a Yuko Mini or Micro around here. Um, didn't take that long, and it wasn't any express shipping or anything like that. Just regular Amazon, um, not Prime. And AliExpress, a couple of weeks, same deal. I think they're a little cheaper there. Maybe a buck or two. Um, maybe three, I guess. It depends. So, you got warm around the bottom here. If you're holding it, I don't know if you guys can see my fingers. Uh, turn on the lights and, and we'll talk about where it's getting warm and all that stuff. Don't touch the top. I'll send you my fingers there. That's probably really hot, just like on your Yuko. You can feel a bit of heat. I don't know what the BTUs are. I've heard the Yukos are like 1900. It's one candle, same candle that's going in, so I can't see there being a difference unless there's some kind of a heat uh, retaining property of, of the material they have. But this really feels like aluminum. I've seen some of them list brass, um, color being gold. I would say I doubt that's brass. I could be wrong, but that's super light, and brass tends to feel more heavy. But I wouldn't care. I mean, it looks nice, feels all right. Um, I don't have a mini or micro, I have a standard lantern uh, to compare that to. And this is half the size, third of the price, probably half the weight. We'll go get a scale and find out. So this is for the uh, lantern with one candle. It's got a couple of minutes of burn time out of it, so I don't think that's going to affect it. You guys can see the weight on that. So depending on when I weigh this, I get 74, 75. I guess it depends on how level things are and so on. And uh, we'll take a look with my bonus accessories. So just a carabiner, which uh, you could 
You can use uh, something else, whatever you want. And then uh, throw it in the case. And the overall weight's gonna depend on what you use if you're adding something to the bale and also uh, you know how light the thing is that you've got. You've got I've got all kinds of other um, cozies for drinks. I think they're perfect actually. Maybe just with a plastic solid liner as I mentioned earlier. So there is the weight. Pretty lightweight if you ask me. Uh, they're gonna be hard pressed to beat that as far as candle lanterns go. So just wanted to demonstrate a few of the the mods I would do this candle. Um, you could get something longer, one or two of these, or maybe 20 gauge wire or some chain or whatever. But you're gonna want something to hook that with and uh, we'll gauge the heat. But uh, I think I'd be more comfortable with something just a bit longer. But just to show you, just get a carabiner, maybe um, some wire, like I said. Well, that would still fold up fit nicely in this uh, dollar store beer cooler drink cooler thingy seems to fit in there real nice um, I think you got enough room if you wanted to although I wouldn't want to put the pressure on the glass to put a lighter so maybe on the bottom you could probably get away with that if you had a mini bic on the bottom and then uh, the drain hole here because it's for a drink but it's, uh, it's no danger of falling out. It's a snug fit, and you could probably get all kinds of neoprene, whatever. This one's just foam, so it's even cheaper uh, protective case for your candle. Mm -hmm.